Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? Either way, we welcome you to Jake's Bounty. Another day in my room once again. Let's go ahead and go to the show. Jake Hernandez. Hold on one second. Got to get a little info. Uh, that music that you heard right there was from Foreigner from their Head Games album right there. Head Games. Always you and me, baby. Head Games. Remember that song? This one uh, was the song 17. All right. Wonder what that's about. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and also let you know that it is July the 29th, 2021, and it is Throwback Thursday, so we'll have a little something from uh, Memory Lane, as I always say. But let's go ahead and um, get to the news, why don't we? man was killed in a car crash. This happened in Fresno County. CHP says a 26-year-old was not wearing his seatbelt. This happened... Uh, on Jensen and Temperance around 4 p.m. The car was going west and hits an SUV that was turning on the street in the intersection. All right, both suffered major injuries. The 26-year-old who was not wearing his uh, seatbelt did pass at the scene. A 63-year-old uh, other pa uh, driver is still at the hospital. Damn fan. <laughs> still at the hospital. And uh, they are working the scene to see what led to the crash, all right? Body camera video, video shows deadly police shooting led to lawsuit. Gerald Johnson swung a shovel at family members. Uh, he barricaded himself in a vehicle with a BB gun, and he was high on PCP. I bet he was. <laughs> um, hard to tell exactly what happened next, but he still had the BB gun, and... Uh, the cops moved in and ended up shooting him. Um, jurors in the case will see the video at the trial. And uh, let's see, Internal Affairs is also in the case to see just exactly if there's any foul play from the cops. And uh, the trial is set for January 2023. So, got a long time in between there. But you know how time goes. Large fire rips through northeast Fresno building. This happened on Shaw and First. Uh, you have to know the uh, KRZR uh, building that once used to house KRZR as well as 95.7, B95. I think it housed them until like uh, the mid 2000s, maybe later. I don't know. But anyway, the uh, building ended up catching fire uh, Tuesday night at 1130. Like I said, it used to once house the KRZR, B95, KCBL, and New Rock 104. So some great memories from all those uh, great uh, rock and roll stations. And then B95, I remember a lot of times going to Roller Town. You guys are in Roller Town. And uh, hearing songs from B95 all the way there in the bus right there uh, to Visalia. So good times. Military flags uh, stolen from Fresno uh, Veterans Memorial Auditorium. This happened July 5th. All had disappeared except one for the Army, one of the Army flags. No one knows who or why a suspect. Uh, I guess they have a surveillance video that shows a suspect nonchalantly climb up, climb up the pole. There's people even around. I don't know if the people were like, oh, maybe he's going to do a show for us or some shit. Uh, um, but he ended up taking the military, uh, not the military flags, but all the other flags around uh, and left one of them. And they're looking at the video. They don't have much help. It's kind of grainy. Um, but if you happen to know anybody or uh, happen to seen anything, please let the Fresno PD know, okay? Or also let the museum know. An arrest was made in a deadly hit and run. This happened in Fresno three weeks ago. Kong Vang. 23-year-old, uh, who hit Felipe Galero at first. He had went back to the scene, but then he got too scared and then drove away, apparently. Uh, his bail was set at $9,500, all right? So Crime Stoppers led to his arrest, so Crime Stoppers does work, I guess. 
Here's another bit of bad news in the world news. ZZ Top uh, member Dusty Hill, the bass player, passes away at age 72, okay? Um, no cause of death as of yet, but they did um, say that he did, just did have a, a hip replacement. Um, they also noted that he had been in the band since 1969, a founder, as well as Frank Beard and uh, Billy Gibbons. So, very sad note. I actually saw them live at the Fresno Fair uh, 2005. I can't remember what album they're promoting, but um, very good songs. You know, they went through all their greatest hits, and uh, I, I enjoyed it because it was a free show, but on top of that, they, you know, did a really good show. Um, I would have enjoyed it even if it wasn't free, you know, because uh, you can just pay to get in. So actually, I guess, uh, whatever the fee was to get in, that also goes to the concert. And all the other things, I guess, go into paying uh, people playing the uh, shows and whatnot. But to me, it seemed free because I was already going to Fresno Fair. And I was like, oh shit, ZZ Top. And uh, you know, that's good enough right there to listen to them and see them. I don't need to be sitting down in the Paul Paul Theater. Um, so, good times, but unfortunately, Dusty Hill passes away yesterday, age 72. All right, we'll let you inf know more when we have uh, more information on his cause of death. All right, well, let's go ahead and go to a trivia question. Before I want to do that, I want to let you guys know I passed Siphon Filter. That's right, the original Siphon Filter. Passed it. Yes, I used some cheat codes. Fuck you. I also looked at the walkthrough on the YouTube. I mean, come on. Who else wouldn't have? That's what you got to do. Back in the day, you couldn't do that. <laughs> you had to go look through the magazines or hope a friend was doing really well at it. Um, but now I'm playing Siphon Filter 2. So uh, go ahead and look this up at Ray's video. Go ahead and get it. If you've got a PS1, PS2, it'll work there as well. And it's just $2, that's right, because there's two discs. And uh, give it a little bit, you know, give it a little time, and it'll actually play. Uh, this morning when I tried to play it, it wouldn't play instantly. You got a little warm up, and, you know, there's a few scratches on it and whatnot. So you just got to give it a little time, maybe dust it off, uh, get it on your shorts there, and then just put it in the disc player, and uh, maybe say a little prayer. And it'll play. It did for me anyway. Siphon filter too. So now there's a strain, a chemical strain all over the world. You gotta stop it. And it's a girl and a man and a woman doing the case. All right, teamwork it makes the dream work. Okay. Want to also let you know we've got friends right here. The trivia game. I'm gonna do a quick one right here from friends. Find it. Quick photo, let's see. I already showed you guys that one, showed you that one too. But here we go, this one's good. Which season is this? What's the name of the episode? And what are Joe and Chandler seeing a canoe in their living room? Why are they living in a canoe in their living room, huh? Here we go, right there. And, you guys got the answer in your head? Good enough? Okay. Which season is this? This is season number four. The one with the cuffs. And because their apartment got robbed of everything, Joey and Chandler are now in a canoe, which they traded for everything somehow. I, I, don't, I don't. Go and put in the comments below if you actually understand that episode. <laughs> Still a classic, though. All right? Want to go ahead and also let you know it is Throwback Thursday. And today I was reminded... Um, just about going to um, McDonald's. Now, you guys talked about the flags in front of the museum getting stolen. Well, this was in front of McDonald's. They had those flags, the American flag, the California flag, and I think maybe another flag. Anyway, similar situation there. This meth head who started beating off right by the flags, and we just pulled out and was like, Yarrr! and it was pathetic. Because he couldn't even get it hard. Even though I was standing from way over here, I could tell he's a hard time, you know. Meth heads, you know. We know what's going on. And we know, like, hey, it's not going to get hard right away. Anyway, 
He was trying to do his best to get these kids a happy meal, but um, boom, shh. But it wouldn't work out, and uh, people started catching on what he was doing, and the cops came soon enough and saw him still beaten off. I mean, he was a master in his craft, just like, ah, it's going to get hard, I know it. I'm going to give these kids a really good showing, and a dinner and a meal, that's what I'm talking about. A dinner and a show, excuse me, it's already dinner and a meal, but... You know, this guy was a real showman. Unfortunately, he never did come. I didn't see that part, and I think they took him away. But it is something I always remember, because, uh, well, you can't really, you know, get that out of your memory, a guy jerking off right in front of the McDonald's sign. <laughs> but he did it right in front of the flags, so, you know, it was like double whammy. He's like, disrespecting the flags, disrespecting McDonald's, and McDonald's customers. Talk about a happy meal. <laughs> All right, well, tomorrow I want to go and let you know we'll have Funky Fridays. Nope, we'll have Far Out Fridays again. That was such a good uh, show and uh, good uh, little, uh, you know, notes that we got back from people. And uh, I think we want to try it again, you know, do a little break from far, uh, Funky Fridays, do another Far Out Fridays. Also, my news, my bounty, so much more. Speaking of my bounty, let's go ahead and see it right now. So just hold on. Ah, uh, shit. If I can only bring my bounty in my room. <laughs> Get all those juices everywhere. Hold on, though. Okay, so here we are in the garage, hotter than hell here in here. But we got to pull a few out of a pink grapefruit right there. And pop off. And there we go, a Gatorade Frost right there. Uh, pale Ale. It's a little beer. Some water. Crystal Geyser. It's from the tap though, it's not no geyser. Bullshit. Diet Coke. And we'll go back into the studio and say our goodbyes. All right, so that's going to do it for us today on Jake's Bounty. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. And I uh, also want to... Go ahead and thank the sponsors. We got Joseph S. Stein, the Bushwhackers t-shirts right here, just $5.99. Go to Joseph S. Stein. Also remember, you can get the uh, Turner and Hooch movie over here, Ray's video, just $1 seven day rental, okay? And let's go ahead and do some more of Foreigner. This is their song 17. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right, here we go. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow his Facebook, his channel, his website, give him a like, and please ring that bell and subscribe.